welcome back to Mimi's Mixed Bag. I'm coming to you from my craft room. I haven't filmed on my desktop in a long time. I've had trouble getting this video out this week. We're in the process of gutting our master bathroom shower area and the workers have been here all week. I just could not do what I needed to do while those men were here. They're gone. It's the weekend and I want to bring to you a really cute little original idea using these Dollar Tree insect wings. I'm going to make a little Valentine door hanger and I hope you like what I come up with. All right, I've got everything laid out here to make my ladybug with the ladybug wings and the bumblebee wings. Now, we're gonna call this a honeybee, even though these are technically bumblebee wings, but I think in the end, it's not gonna matter because it's gonna be super cute. All right, the rest of the supplies I will share with you as I get to them, but this is a super quick project you could put together within the hour. All right, I needed something kind of oval, and I had this little snack plate, and I traced it on some scrap cardboard. So since I'm making two, I'm gonna cut out both ovals, and I'm gonna cover them in some fabric just hot glue, some red for the ladybug, and some black for my honeybee. All right, just want to show you that I got my ovals cut out and it's laying on my fabric and I trimmed my fabric just about an inch bigger than the oval. These little insect bodies are really not going to show because they're going to be behind the wings, but you could make some little slits in these curves to make the fabric lay down a little better, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue all around the back and fold the fabric back. All right, let me catch you up where I'm at now. All right, I've got my oval bodies covered in fabric, and if you wanted a finished look, you could put felt on the back. I unpackaged my little insect wings, and you're gonna see a glitter star in the center of the wings. Don't worry about that. We're gonna leave that there because it'll never show. But on the back side of the wings, there's some little elastic bands to put around your arms. We're gonna cut those two elastic bands off and get those out of the way. And we're just gonna hot glue our wings in the center of the oval. Now, it's certainly a personal preference, but I think I'm going to add a couple little Google Eyes to mine. Google Eyes are in every craft department. You find them at Dollar Tree, Walmart, anywhere. Now, I also want to do some little antennas. And so what I did is I took a black pipe cleaner, just bent it in half, and then you need some of these from Dollar Tree little felt stickers. They're hearts, all different sizes. You get a hundred of them, and I just sandwiched two between the pipe cleaner. So for my yellow ones, I just took a marker and colored the white felt, and it will be it'll work just fine. And I'll sandwich them in between each little antenna. So that will coordinate and look cute. After I get everything hot glued like this, I'm gonna make a little sign to go in the very center. And there's a variety of ways you could get the words on a sign, but this is how I'm gonna do it. I took some pink cardstock and I printed out Hey Love Bug, and on some white I wrote Honey Be Mine. I got some of these little square planks from the Dollar Tree. You get like six for a dollar, and I, that will cover up that little glitter star perfectly. So I'm just gonna decoupage over and under using Mod Podge, and it will seal up nicely. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add anything else to the sign. It may or may not need it. I'll see when I get done, but there's a variety of ways you could make a little sign. This is just one simple way you can make a sign with a laser printer. All right, I got everything glued together that I showed you before, but once I got my sign on there, I realized there was just too much blank space. I was afraid that would happen, so I just took some ribbon and just hot glued it, kind of crisscross and framed each sign, and then with the ladybug one since these were all adhesive and i got lots of different sizes of these adhesive felt hearts colored a white one kind of hot pink to kind of tie in the sign because only the sign was hot pink and the rest of it was red and black same way with the bumblebee i just kept those yellow but just loving how they're turning out i'm going to take about 20 inches of ribbon and i'm going to connect it to their wings and then my the finishing touch i'm just going to do it like a little crisscross scrappy bow is what i call it or scrappy crisscross bow whatever you want to call it i'm going to take about a dozen pieces of coordinating ribbon there's no right or wrong way and just stack them up in an x until you get it as fluffy as you want it and then you're going to cinch it in the center and that's going to create 
your coordinating bow and I'll tie it onto the hanger. All right, I've got them hung up here in the corner of my dining room. This is just the best lighting I can come up with here at night, but I think you can see them pretty well and I'm gonna move in a little closer. Just think the little hay love bug turned out so cute and the honey bee mine just adorable as well. Got just a couple notes for you. I had intended on just putting one little accent bow, but when I went to put just a little hole there to tie my ribbon hanger on, this stuff is just like pantyhose and it wants to run and it just didn't tie neat like I wanted it to. So I ended up having to make a second bow, but I think that's cute. It's a cute little accent on both sides of the hanger but this is so lightweight you could definitely just hot glue the ribbon onto the back of the wings as well what a cute little project that you can make within the hour and i think both of these probably cost me about five dollars to make and i even have several of the little wood squares left for more signs if you've got a little ribbon stash and some pipe cleaners I hope you can find the insect wings to make you some of these love bugs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back sometime this week with something else fun to share. Bye-bye.